If there's one thing I love more than the cricketing, it's the Dollar Tree. Over the past few years, I've noticed that a lot of you love the Dollar Tree as well, especially when it comes to cricketing. So this year, I'm going to be sharing tons of Cricut Dollar Tree projects here on YouTube as well as on my blog, Clark's Condensed. However, to start things off, I thought I would go to the Dollar Tree and pick out some of my favorite crafting blanks that you can use while you make your Cricut projects. The Dollar Tree is definitely one of my favorite places to shop, especially when it comes to crafting, and there are so many treasures. They always have new things, so I definitely recommend going into your own Dollar Tree and seeing what you can find, or you can even go onto the dollartree.com and order things in bulk. However, I went in just a couple of days ago and I got some of my favorite supplies to show you that you can use for inspiration and that I will also be using over the course of the next year to create fun Dollar Tree projects. Because we all know crafting can be a little bit expensive, so combining your Cricut habit with your Dollar Tree habit can make things a little bit more affordable. My first item that I love to give the Dollar Tree that I was so excited to see that they had finally started stocking at our store is t-shirts. Now, don't get me wrong, some of the t-shirts there are super cheap. However, if you go in, dig through their pile, because if your store is like mine, it's just a big pile of shirts, you can find some real treasures. Like I found lots of Gildan brand shirts, which is what I usually buy anyways, and they're just a dollar compared to, you know, two to $5 at the other craft store that I usually go to. So I definitely recommend seeing if your Dollar Tree has um, t-shirts because it is a great buy and they're great for crafting um, with your Cricut because I don't know about you but I love making t-shirts with my Cricut that's probably our number one item that we make next is something that they started stocking at our Dollar Tree I think in the last year but they are canvases they have canvases of all of these stretch canvases of all different sizes and shapes they have ones that are flat ones that are more of the frame type but canvases are such a great thing you can do with Cricut you can make projects on the canvas itself, or you can do a reverse canvas, which I really love how those turn out. Um, but I definitely recommend checking these out. Even this, this pack came with two. Some of them come with a couple of different ones. Some are just one, but it's definitely a great buy. One thing that I know a lot of people love at the Dollar Tree are stuffed animals. Stuffed animals are a great thing you can do with HTV, HTV and they are great sellers if you're looking to sell products. Some of them aren't as great as others, so you definitely want to go in and maybe experiment a little bit with a little bit of vinyl just to make sure that it actually sticks the way you want it to. But during the holidays especially, they have some great little stuffed animals. This was in their Valentine's Day collection and I just thought it was so cute. It is January, so I know a lot of people are looking to organize, myself included. And the Dollar Tree is one of my favorite places for organization and cleaning supplies. They have so many different bins of different shapes and sizes with different lids that you can definitely customize them with your Cricut or your Cricut Joy, which is especially awesome for labels. And I just think that they're good. They're not the most sturdy containers, but I feel like they last pretty well. And they're just a dollar, so you can't complain too much. Glasses, mugs, cups, tumblers, the Dollar Tree has them all. It's definitely a great place to go if you're looking to make some cute, you know, some different wine glasses, make some customized mugs, or even customize your coffee or hot cocoa cup. I find that they go in and out of stock with different materials. When I went in, they didn't have all the tumblers that I use, that I sometimes will buy there, you know, the ones with the straws, but they really have a nice variety. So definitely go in and see what you can find. The Dollar Tree won't win any prizes for the quality of their frames, but they're just a dollar. I will admit that I have tons of Dollar Tree frames all over my house. You should go in and see which ones you like. I found this one that I thought would be awesome for Cricut, uh, for some kind of Cricut project. It has a nice black background, this cute little twine line with clothespins. So you could put the pictures here and maybe put some fun, um, you can cut out some fun letters or shapes or stickers to put on the background. I, I, like I said, I love to buy picture frames at the Dollar Tree and they can make for some great Cricut projects. And if you follow Clark, if you followed Clark's Finance for long, you know that we showed a fun project for wedding using the picture frames where it just made a little, it was like a candle holder with the pictures on the sides, super cute and was so easy to make. Everyone loves a good cricketed tote bag and the Dollar Tree has some different tote bags you can try out. They have some more plasticky ones, which I would avoid because you can't really put iron on on those, but this fabric one would be great for iron on and I will definitely be making a project in the near future with this one. Of course, we can't forget your furry friends. They, the Dollar Tree is a great place to get pet supplies, including bowls for dogs and cats. This is their one of their big dog bowls, and it would be fun to put some little some vinyl decals on here to customize your dog's bowls because we all know that everyone loves their pets. If you are a beauty lover or you have one in your house or that is a grandchild or a friend, all of these little 
they have these little hand mirrors at the Dollar Tree that can be fun to customize the back. I did find it hard to find plain ones because there was a lot with patterns on the back, but there were these pink ones and some different colors. They had some smaller ones as well in some different neutral colors that would be really fun to make some crafts, some crafting things with. I know some people like to make wedding mirrors um, with their Cricut, and if you could find the right color, it could be a great place to buy those, especially if you were making them for your bridesmaids. The Dollar Tree actually has a great selection of cell phone cases. Not all of them are going to be great for make for customizing for your own Cricut. However, they have some awesome plain ones and I found this fun mirror one that I thought would be super fun to customize. And so I can't wait to show you what my idea is for these. They have them for all different types of brands of phones. So you can go in and kind of search through their selection to see if they have one that's great for you. This was a new find, a pillowcase. I actually have, I go to the Dollar Tree all the time and I had never seen pillowcases before. However, I wasn't really looking, so maybe they've been there. However, pillowcases are super easy to customize with your Cricut machine and they had lots of different colors. And so that would be a fun thing to get, especially for sleepovers or for a little party favor for friends. Or if you have a son or a daughter that are having a birthday party, it'd be really fun to have them customize their own with some pre-cut out Cricut iron-on supplies. The Dollar Tree has all sorts of glassware, including vases. I really love to use these and they would be really fun to customize for a lot of different projects with vinyl or other materials. There's so many different vase projects out there that the Dollar Tree is definitely my go-to. Even if you're not cricketing, it's a great place to get vases for any reason. My brother was with me when I was at the Dollar Tree buying all these supplies and he suggested that I get a a soap dispenser, which I thought was really fun. I've seen a lot of great customized soap dispensers out there. They're not super expensive. I'm obviously they're just a dollar. They're not super um, high quality. They're plasticky and it might be a little bit hard to get vinyl on there, but I could see some people getting rather creative with these. There's some different brands and different types and styles. So definitely go check it out if that is something that you are interested in. And finally, the Dollar Tree has all sorts of planners, notebooks, etc. I don't personally customize those that much with my Cricut, but I know I've seen a lot of other people doing that. I picked up one of these 2021 weekly planners. I had kind of hoped that it wouldn't have anything on the front, but you could do some fun designs on different planners and notebooks. Another find that I found this last time, which I'm not 100% sure is going to turn out, is a doormat. I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting with this, but I know Cricut doormats are all the rage right now, so I was excited to see this. It's pretty cheap and inexpensive, but we'll see how it turns out. Those are just some of my favorite craft blanks that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. I would love to hear if you found any treasures and if there's anything that you are planning to make this year. Comment below with what project you want me to do first, and I would love to hear your ideas. Be sure to subscribe below for more Cricut and Dollar Tree YouTube videos in the future and head over to ClarksCondensed.com, search Cricut Dollar Tree, and you will have find so many fun ideas there already.